This video is how to download, install, and run Antivir, which is a very good antivirus program. So, you can either go to download.com or you can go to free-av.com, but eventually you're going to get to, they're going to send you to download.com anyway. Click on products, click on the free one, Antivir, and it'll just go to download.com, and we're going to click on download. Download now. And we'll just save it to the desktop. And this puppy's downloading, about one minute left. So the great thing about this one is it's got really high marks for catching viruses. It got like, I don't know, 97%. It caught 97% of, of the viruses. So it's got really, really good reviews and it's free. You don't have to register it. Uh, it doesn't need rebooting when you install it. And uh, it's free. So it's a really good one. Anyway, so we're uh, downloading it. I might pause the video and then uh, and resume it, but uh, it is downloading. And by the way, this is a uh, Google's new browser. It's called Chrome. It's pretty cool, actually. It's really cool. You can go to Google. Here, I'll show you. While waiting, just go to Google.com forward slash Chrome, and just can download Chrome. You can install it. It's a pretty cool browser. So check it out. Check it out. All right, we're still downloading this pup. Okay, so finished downloading, <clears throat> and we're going to open it. So with uh, with Chrome, you know Google's browser that I'm using, it's pretty cool. You just click on the arrow here and then open. Uh, but to one thing to make sure: make sure you uninstall your antivirus if you have any on your computer. Make sure you uninstall it first before you install this, because you cannot have two antivirus programs on your computer at one time. It just they'll conflict, they won't work, they'll slow the computer down. It's just not good for the computer. Okay, so we'll click on, so I've already uninstalled the one I had, so I'll click on run. And we're gonna wait for this puppet to come up, up. Click on accept. And it's installing right now. It's pretty easy to install. Okay, click on next. Next, accept, next, I accept, next, complete. No, no, I'm not gonna, don't bother registering, don't worry about it. Finish installing. And this, this program has actually caught a lot of things that, uh, like Norton or, Ma or McAfee, um, a lot of big ones out there that have not caught. So I've had that many times where this has caught things that other things haven't, so. Very, very good program and it's free. All right, we're finishing up the install here. No, I don't care about the show me, finish. Do you want to start an update? Yes. So right now it's going to look for uh, updates for the virus definitions so it can know about the latest viruses out there so it can protect you from everything up until this second or at least what it knows about. But it's very, very good at knowing the most up-to-date viruses. So right now it's updating. And right now it says time elapsed here, time remaining. It's trying to get to the server right now. It'll catch it. Looks like it's going to take a while. Now. Oh, yeah, you'll get this uh, this ad because it is free. So you're going to get an ad like this. So just click OK. Like, it will go away. Don't buy anything. And it'll finish up pretty quickly. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Okay. It's speeding up. Alright. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. And a good thing about this one is you don't have to reboot the computer when you install it, which is great. That saves an extra step. And for some people, it saves some time because sometimes people, it takes a while for the computer to boot up. All right, we're doing a fair amount of updates here. Okay, now we got it. It's uh, pretty much done here. So we click on close. This is a seconds counting down saying it's going to close if I don't hit close. So we'll just let it go. Close. Okay. All right, so now you see that uh, it's installed up here. 
And I actually have it down here, so I'll just delete this installation file. You don't really need this. And the way to tell, you don't want to delete the, you know, this is Antivirus PE Classic. That's going to be, and it has like a little, little arrow. That means it's a shortcut. It's not an actual file or program. This one has no arrow, so that means it's a, uh, and it says .exe, so it's definitely a, a program, an installation file. So we'll just get rid of that. All right, now uh, I'll show you how to scan it, or scan with it, excuse me. So we're going to open the puppy up here. Double click, pops up pretty quickly. All right, so last update, 1223, which is today. Happy holidays, by the way. A couple days, we got uh, Christmas. and Anyway, um, then we have uh, last complete scan, system scan, not performed because I just installed the thing. So all you do is click on scan system now, and then it's going to scan. And files, uh, you know, how many files it's scanned, how long it's, uh, it's you know, taking to scan. And then it says detections. That's suspicious files and detections is what you're going to look at. For warnings is, you know, it's okay, but it's not really like imperative or anything. Um, but detections and su suspicious files. Detections is, okay, I found a virus. Suspicious files is obviously it's suspicious about the files, which means it's not, you know, it's, it may be a virus. So in any respect, it'll, uh, you know, if it finds something, it'll come up. And uh, pretty much the, the way to do things is just to quarantine it. Um, you don't really want to delete it because it might be a file that you might need back. You know, like let's say you delete it and then it, your computer doesn't really run. That's That never really happened for me with any antivirus program, but it's always good to just be on the safe side. So when it asks you what to do with it, it's best to, well, it, it'll tell you what it suggests, but it's best to just quarantine it, you know, just isolate it. So that way, if you do need it, you can get it back. That's why you quarantine things. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's very easy to use, very easy to install, and it's very, very good at what it does. Uh, and that pretty much wraps it up. All right. Enjoy. Happy holidays.